today we ride the Cabot Trail, which is something we've been looking forward to. <coughs> Excuse me. A little phlegmy. Too much bourbon last night. Um, that's something we've been looking forward to since we started planning this damn trip. Hello, world. What's up? J Street Moto here. Good morning from uh, Port Hawkesbury, Canada. Well, Nova Scotia, which is in Canada. So that's kind of right. This is uh, the beginning of day six. We're over the halfway point of the trip. And uh, today we ride the Cabot Trail, which is something we've been looking forward to. <coughs> Excuse me. A little phlegmy. Too much bourbon last night. Um, that's something we've been looking forward to since we started planning this damn trip, to be completely honest with you. For those of you that haven't or don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you should go look it up. The Cabot Trail Loop. But if you don't want to look it up, just keep watching the video. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share with your friends. Because I'm going to show you, well, as best I can, I'm going to show you what it's like to ride this, uh, to ride this famous road in Canada. It's a little brisk this morning. I think it's like 55 degrees. So we're getting up, we're putting on a lot of layers. We're gonna have some breakfast, then we're gonna hit the road because uh, it takes about six hours to run this route. And then we've got another three hours to get back to Halifax, so. Welcome to the Cabot Trail. So uh, I gotta tell you, this is, it's listed as one of Canada's most scenic roads. And, uh, well, <laughs> for good reason. Uh, this was one of the most beautiful rides, I think, and I think the other guys would agree with me, that any of us have ever, have ever been on. Uh, it wasn't as technical as some of the other stuff that we've done. I think Tail the Dragon 89A, those kinds of places. Um, but from a sheer scenery perspective, it was breathtaking quite honestly. Um, so, John Cabot discovered Breton Island in 1497. That's, that's kind of the history. That's how the trail got its name. Uh, in 1932, they paved it, and it became the road that you're watching us ride today. Uh, it truly was, and we had beautiful weather for it. I'm not gonna talk a whole bunch over this video, which just to be able to enjoy it but uh, if you're ever if you ever get the opportunity to head up to Northeast Canada specifically Nova Scotia you would you're gonna hate yourself if you don't go on this ride good morning from the Cabot Trail This is a 185 mile loop that basically goes all around Cape Breton or Breton Island uh, and through a couple of national parks or through one national park that, that Canada has there. Um, it is going to take you somewhere between six to eight hours to run it. Just being honest with you, it's going to take that long. The speed limits are kind of low, you're going to deal with some traffic and you're going to want to stop from time to time and look at some of the scenic overlooks because they really are 
quite spectacular. Um, this really reminded me, there were sections of this road that truly reminded me of my favorite parts of the PCH that I've seen in movies but never been able to, to actually experience in person. So, yeah, uh, we, rode the, we rode the loop counterclockwise. You can ride it, it is two directions. You can ride it clockwise or counterclockwise. We rode it counterclockwise so the water was always on our right. And we had uh, enough time between breakfast and lunch that we actually made it to Ketchy Camp for, uh, for our lunch stop. Uh, so I'm hoping that you're enjoying this, I'm hoping that you're enjoying the scenery. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, click the notification bell. Cape Breton Highland Park and uh, stopped at an overlook. I'm telling you, Cabot Trail was freaking cool. Uh, the road's a little rough in places, so if you're riding anytime soon, be careful about that. And it definitely was the right choice to run it counterclockwise because the water is going to be on our right and will be closest to it the entire route today. Um, this is what I'm looking at. Freaking amazing, beautiful. You guys, look at that. Freaking beautiful. be honest with you, unlike uh, Million Dollar Highway and, you know, um, Monument Valley and Beartooth Pass, Pikes Peak, and Tale of the Dragon, and the list kind of goes on, um, I had never heard of this road. I'd never heard of this route. I'd never heard of the scenic road that was in uh, Nova Scotia. I hadn't. I found out about it um, because of this channel, quite honestly. So one of the one of my subscribers is a Canadian. He lives up in this area, and he had when when we announced that we were going to be going to Canada for our big trip in 2023, he was one of the first ones on that video to comment and say, "You have to ride the Cabot Trail if you're going to Nova Scotia. You got to do it." And um, I got to tell you. <laughs> There was no disappointment. Every single one of us, I think, were smiling the entire time we rode this road. And and it really is, it, it lives up to the hype. It's a fun road to ride. There wasn't a lot of congestion for us. There's a boatload of elevation change up and down. There's different scenery to experience. And for me, one of the things I enjoy the most, being able to see the water. I'm an old Navy guy. I love, I love the ocean. Nothing I love more than that. And um, now I will say this, we we all kind of made the decision uh, not to ride up to Meat Cove. So we didn't. Um, I just didn't want to put, I didn't want to put my bike on a dirt road for like 50 miles one way and then 50 miles on the way out, just so that I could say I made it to Meat Cove. It, there was nothing about that that sounded interesting to me. So we stayed on the paved section. You're getting ready to see what was one of my favorite views of this ride. Uh, there's a section, whenever you see stuff about the Cabot Trail, whenever you see like pictures and propaganda and, and you know, Propaganda is the wrong word, but you know, commercials, brochures about it. They always show the scene that you're getting ready to see. And uh, there's a reason for it because it, uh, it truly is 
breathtaking. And, and it, it kind of personifies what the entire trail is really like when you, when you see it. And, and I'm going to apologize now. I know the video is not going to do it justice, but I hope that you get a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about here. When we turn this corner, we're changing elevation, and you can see the road laid out right by the water like a ribbon running around the island. And here it is right here. This was, I saw a shot of that when I was, when we were planning this trip and that was what made me want to ride this trail, quite honestly. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna shut up now, let y'all enjoy some of the scenery. As I mentioned earlier, we ended up uh, making our lunch stop in this place called Ketchup Camp. Um, and it is primarily French speaking. Um, it, it was, Nova Scotia is an interesting place, especially the Breton Island is an interesting place because it was settled by the French. So think Acadians, which is kind of, for those of us in the States, think about all the people who live down in Louisiana think Cajuns, right? So so you've got, there. there's an Acadian population, so a, a French-American population there. There's a Scottish population there. Uh, and then there are Native Americans that are there. And and it, it, it just is a cool, it's a cool mix of people all in the same kind of small area, I guess is a good way to put it. So we decided to eat lunch in Catchy Camp and uh, we had a phenomenal meal uh, at that point in the day we had been on the bikes for shit at that point I think we'd been on the bikes for four and a half five hours maybe a little longer uh, and we were getting near the end of the trail we were getting ready to to be you know making our way back to Halifax and I just wanted to eat and take a break and drink some water because we were all kind of a little bit hot and uh, I don't know, didn't take any pictures of the food while we were at the restaurant, so I apologize for that. Didn't do any video while we were there either. Uh, we all had seafood, though. I do remember that. Um, no, we didn't. I had a grilled chicken Caesar salad is what I had. Uh, and it, it, it was, it was good. It, it filled my belly, which is what I needed. So, 
we don't take a lot of video or I did not take a lot of video on the way home because if you can imagine circumventing a uh, basically what is a six to seven hour ride and trying to capture as much of it as you can uh, yeah we took a lot of video this day this 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 day right here um, was more video clips from David and I than pretty much any other two or three days combined. But there was a lot of video done on this day and I've trimmed it the best that I can. Right here we are, we are finished on uh, Breton Island and getting ready to cross the bridge to leave. Uh, so if you watched the episode five when we made it to Port Hawkesbury, we are now heading the opposite direction starting to make our way out of Port Hawkesbury and heading back to Halifax. Didn't take a lot of video on my way home or back to Halifax. Uh, there just wasn't any reason to. Uh, we ended up getting back that night and, uh, well, we went back to the Barrington and had dinner to celebrate riding the Cabot Trail. And uh, while I was there, I was able to talk the, uh, the manager that was behind the counter into uh, having the chef let me take pictures of the recipe for the cigar aged tenderloins that we had eaten uh, both times that we were there for a meal. So I brought those recipes home with me and I'm going to be trying them at the house at some point. Uh, on that note, this is Wednesday of the week that we were spending in, in Halifax. Uh, Thursday is our last night and we're leaving Friday morning. So, so two days from today, we'll be starting to head back to North Carolina. And um, I decided I wanted to make dinner for everyone on Thursday night. And uh, I kind of recorded a silly thing, a Cooking with J Street episode, showing you me cooking dinner. Don't know if that's ever gonna air, but I'm gonna mention it here because it might nudge me enough later to, uh, to make me show it or you know if you're watching this comment and tell me yes we want to see that show us how you made the dinner for you and the guys or no we don't want to see that just keep showing us motorcycle footage so there's one uh david's gonna roll by here in a second we are now on we're officially on our way back to halifax at this point we're, we're on basically interstate uh going all the way back to halifax so it's about a three hour ride uh, we made it back well before sunset and we're able to go out to dinner um, after getting a shower and chilling out some. So, hope you guys are watching the series. hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, I know this is a little bit different format than what you're used to and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I'll talk to you soon. We went out to dinner. Went to the same place we went to Sunday night. <clears throat> Let this be a lesson to you. Freaking put sunblock on. Otherwise you look like an idiot. Because you got a white head and red. Your glasses are there. Oh, and this is the best part. My helmet stripes. So I was stupid. Didn't do it. Um hope you enjoyed watching the videos that we took going on the Cabot Trail. Um up at Cape Breton in uh, in Nova Scotia, and uh, tomorrow we've got a different adventure planned. So always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot! Ah. Asshole. <laughs>